Okay, we are at the last part of our three-part series for light, and that is lenses. Okay, uh, if you are my student, uh, you can take out a pen, pencil, or and full scan or notebook. If you are not, um, you can ask me questions uh, via my website or Google form in the description below. Okay, so for lenses, uh, you are supposed to draw and memorize the properties so that you are able to identify what the question is asking and you're going to state the properties of the image and the three uh, and the use okay three properties and the use okay so before that we need to know a few definitions uh, you can refer that to your own textbook uh, but uh, flip it and write all these four points down uh, for my students uh, having a piece joining me for the physical lesson you can uh, I will flip the, to the page for you, so you write them down. And for those who are not in my physical lesson, um, do inform me. I will send you uh, a screenshot of that. Okay. And uh, yeah, so here goes. Uh, you need to know the definition for focal point, principal axis, focal length, and optical center. Um, before that, you need to know where it is in the diagram. Okay. So you need to know what's going on. Okay. Usually the questions will just ask for focal length, so you need to know where is the focal length is between the focal point and the optical center. Okay, this length. Okay, so that is called one focal length. So a double, twice of that, you know, double. Okay. So um, with that, uh, when once you can pause the video if you are writing the definitions. Once you are done, um, we will move on. So we are at the length of diagrams now. There are six diagrams and you need to memorize um, all six diagrams. Basically, the question will give you one line and then you need to draw the full diagram. And then you need to state the three properties of the image, okay? And then uh, state one use. Okay, usually, that's like three, four marks. Okay, so uh, here goes. For the first one, uh, you need to draw first, uh, always when you draw the diagram, uh, draw the axis, okay? So draw this, draw this, then you draw four equal points, one, two, three, four, equal distance, huh? from where, from here, here, okay, equal distance, and that's your focal length, okay. Next thing, uh, if your textbook shows a different diagram, follow the textbook one, if not, uh, this is fine. Um, you can draw one that pass through the length, uh, at the lens, okay, pass through the fo focal length, focal point, okay. Then the other one, horizontal, pass through the focal point. Okay, so it will all pass through the center. Okay, that center. And this solid line, black color line, is shifted to the right because uh, if not, it will cover the one focal length, the F. Okay, so yeah, that's one kind of the diagram you can draw. The second kind for this uh, first example uh, is uh, the question will show you one through the center and one through one F. Passing through here, hit this part of the lens, and then horizontally, okay? And it should coincide at directly below 1F, okay? That's the one in your textbook, it is different, okay? And now let's write the three properties, okay? The first property is, is real, inverted, and diminished. The three properties, huh? okay? So first one, real, okay? So long as uh, your object is on the left-hand side and image is on the right-hand side, Okay, it will be real and inverted. That means it can be caught on the screen. Real means can be caught on the screen means that if you project a, a light image, image from light, and the light is so intense, it can actually burn into the screen. Okay, and it can produce a photograph. That's how the old uh, film technology works. Okay, and then uh, it's inverted. Inverted means upside down. Okay, so so long as they are on opposite sides of the, of the lenses, okay, object and image on opposite sides, they are real and inverted now diminish means smaller diminish means smaller okay, this is uh, example is object lens for of telescope okay because you use telescope to see a mountain and the mountain is obviously bigger than the image right you can't put the fit the image into your telescope if it's the size of the mountain okay that's done uh. okay so next one okay here we have another one Okay, uh, we see that, uh, draw the same axis again, the axis, and the four equidistant points. Okay, uh, when you're done drawing, draw the object. The object is here. 
is upward arrow it can be uh, whichever and with the top corner one line through horizontal line uh, make sure it's parallel to the axis through the axis uh, through the lens and then through one end and the other line is through the center of the lens okay you realize that the rays are this way and they will never coincide because they are parallel so you draw dotted lines backwards okay draw dotted lines back. okay after you're done drawing uh, you, you can continue playing the video it's not uh, pause it okay when you're done okay um, write three factors so you realize that the object is here and the image is dotted line backwards it should be somewhere behind so you said you image at infinity so uh, this is uh, the image uh, on the same side so if they're on the same side it is virtual and upright okay yeah if they're on the same side virtual and upright and last part because it's bigger so it's magnified or enlarged depending on the word the words your teacher want you want you to use okay and uh, the application for this is uh, IP slams of telescope okay you can pause the video uh, if not uh, you can continue and the third one is uh, when the object again draw everything okay this time the object is within one focal length the object is within one focal length okay same process horizontal line through one f the other line through the center okay and in this case i need you to draw the arrows this way unlike the diagram and after that because you know that they will diverge you draw the dotted lines backwards okay and you see that the dotted lines backward will converge into one point and this point use the dotted line to draw the image okay and when you, you can pause the video if not uh, we'll continue so we'll now write the properties since this is uh, less than one focal length away okay and the image and object are on the same side okay they are virtual and upright and because it's bigger so it's magnified or enlarged okay the application is magnifying glass okay you need to know the three properties of the image and the application now we'll move on to the last three the last three are very similar to each other just because they are related to objects at 2f or near the 2f focal length okay so here goes we first uh, draw the diagram again and this time place it in between one focal length and two focal length okay and uh, same thing horizontal line through one f and the one another one through the center they should coincide further than two focal length and you know that the object and image are on different side three properties real inverted enlarged application projector because the image is bigger okay next one we place it after two focal length okay slightly after two focal length same thing horizontal line through one f through the center they should coincide in between one and two focal length and the properties because they are on opposite side of each other okay real inverted and because smaller size diminished application camera object bigger than image okay and the last one okay i have uh, one exactly on two focal length again horizontal line through one f it should coincide with the one through the center directly at two f okay again image object image and object on opposite sides of the lens real inverted okay and because both are on 2f exactly and the same height same size application photocopier you know the olden days photocopier where you photocopy is the same size huh? okay so now what happens is uh, they'll ask you they'll draw probably one like that and draw one like that uh, and they ask you to complete the diagram or they draw the object and the image and they ask you to complete the diagram okay so either way uh, you need to memorize uh, get used to how to draw uh, the diagrams and then from the diagram memorize these three uh, properties of the fix and the application okay and that's all for lenses